This video will cover two types of statistical error, type 1 or alpha, and type 2 or beta. All statistics derived from samples are subject to error. A type 1 error rejects the null hypothesis when it is actually true. A type 2 error accepts the null hypothesis when it is not true. Remember that a different sample can give a completely different result. A sample mean is likely to fall in the confidence interval only 95% of the time, so the inferences drawn from the sample may be wrong. Let's talk in a little more detail about the type 1 error. The type 1 error occurs when a researcher thinks he or she has found a significant result, but really that result is due to chance. It's similar to a false positive on a drug test. The type 1 error, or the mistake of rejecting the true null hypothesis, will happen with a frequency of alpha. Thus, if alpha, our critical value, is 0.05, then a type 1 error will occur 5% of the time. On the other hand, a type 2 error occurs when results seem insignificant, but in fact there was something significant going on. Type 2 errors are like a false negative on a drug test. They occur when the alternative hypothesis is true, but there's not enough evidence in the sample to reject the null hypothesis. This type of error is traditionally considered less important than a type 1 error, but it can lead to serious consequences in real situations. The power of a test is 1 minus the probability of a type 2 error. It is the probability of rejecting the null hypothesis when the alternative hypothesis is true. In these competing sampling distributions, alpha is set to 0.05. The bottom curve assumes HA is true. The top curve assumes that the null hypothesis H0 is true. Its right tail shows that we will reject H0 when a sample mean exceeds 189.6. The probability of getting a value greater than 189.6 on the bottom curve is 0 0.5160, corresponding to the power of the test. Here's a table that summarizes the types of errors. Here's an example using a fire alarm. If a fire alarm is silent and there is no fire, our null hypothesis that it is working is correct. But what if the assumption is wrong? Then we've accepted the null hypothesis, but we actually have a fire. That's our type 1 error. The opposite case may also happen. If the alarm goes off and there's actually a fire, there's no error. But if there's no fire and the alarm goes off, it's a false alarm. That's the type 2 error. Here it is a less serious problem. This concludes our video on statistical error. Today we discussed type 1 or alpha error and type 2 or beta error.